nikaendelea hivyo nikamit mzee fulani mkamba his name was kauka i don't know if he still around alikuwa anauza mboga pale nyando akani ni i was just free nikamwambia huwa yam penye nimetoka na reason na stoi niko Nairobi the guy was remorseful alinisikiza na akaniambia okay me i cannot do for you much Nairobi aliniambia Nairobi ni kugumu life ni hard Nairobi i cannot do for you much but kitu yenye mimi naweza kufanyia unajua kukata mboga nikamwambia ya najua kaniangalia you sure akani akaniambia nifanye practically i proved him wrong kaniambia okay sawa so since unajua the only job naweza kupa hiyo ndo kitu naweza kupea ndakuwa na ku provide your lunch na sapa then i give you a hundred shillings hapo pengine ujipange hivyo tu ndo mimi naweza kusaidia so mimi nakumbuka nilikula raundi sana hiyo kayole after nisha agree nae at least sasa nipate place yenye nikitoka nga late na jua naenda place ku rest kichwa karibu na the Nairobi River Kayole kona uko chini kuna makeja zenye wasee walikuwa wanaunda inafika katikati jamaa jai complete imekuwa ruins for mimea imemea ndani so i occupied one of the rooms that's that's what i made the home with no mattress with nothing out of your business nilikuwa nafanya umseni kama nijikubaishuka at least ilikuwa ina nzu ya baridi nikafanya hiyo job since hiyo 09 vile nilifika mpaka around uh, 2010 around april nakumbuka hiyo siku there is a guy alikuja kununua mboga so i used to put on a cap unajua sasa hiyo yani still yani ilikuwa haija 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 ring kwa mind yangu yani this way i've ended up in your life in your life yani. simply because sina maparo na sina mtetezi but nikiangalia penye nimetoka pe, wase nimeacha ni kubaya nikisema ni give up ni rudi ni noma so i had to carry on so that day a guy comes anapea na order anataka mboga i never minded even looking at his face mimi kaanza kukata mboga kumbe the guy we had met we met back in high school akiwa nikiwa form 1 alikuwa form 2 akiwa senior entertainment prefect i was his assistant his name is milton bulimu right now he is a teacher kayole star so alikuja ku buy mboga nikasikia mtu ananiita hey manoa i was like huni nani ananiita hiyo jina nairobi huni msi ananijua poa it caught my attention so ndo nikaangalia nikaona ni Milton tulikuwa na high school the first question akanuliza what happened so actually that's the day now i opened up to him about my story so the guy akastuka kaniambia na una stay wapi nikamwambia na stay tu ikaole wapi specific siku mwambia juu place hiyo si place naweza peleka msea tinaishi pale so there is a day alikuja akanipata off guard around sa sita mchana i had no choice but kupeleka Milton mpaka place nilikuwa na stay nilimpigisha makona mengi lakini finally tulifika nikamwambia yeye bro <laughs> mimi yeye mimi wishingi pale it was like wapi pale mimi sioni nyumba manoa unaniambia namwambia boss are you blind unaniambia uoni nyumba hii ni nini unanionyesha nini manoa hii kitu yenye nyazi nini msitu imemea ikitoka kwa dirisha nikamwambia eh hapo ndo mimi nasti tukaingia naye the guy cried hata sikukua na kitu ya kuhamisha sasa nitahamisha nini hata hizo nguo zilikuwa dusty <laughs> kaniambia chana tu na hizo vitu <laughs> twende tu yani <laughs> tulikuwa twende tu ametubebe vitu tuishi aliniambia chana tu na hizo vitu tuishi na kanipeleka kwake kanipea maji nikasha jumi nilikuwa na uganga kwa rive hapo Nairobi river sikuwa hata na traffic 
almost clicking here so this guy came in my rescue akanichukua nikaanza ku stay naye 